Hello everybody, this is Tara coming to you from the purple couch. Try and straighten that out. I, I like this angle better. Um, I want to read a poem that I don't hear people talk about often with Lucille Clifton. Um, it's in this book, Blessing the Boats. And it's um, also in the big block of collected poems that has her portrait on the front. Um, I wanted to read this poem because it's it was one of the new poems when this book came out in 2000. And I can't believe it's been 20 years since this book came out. I'll show you all something special. So, yeah. This is one of my signed books that she signed for me. And... I really miss her, um, but in any case, this particular poem is interesting to me because it's talking about how there are intuitively creative people or people who have talent who don't always get the opportunity to express it in the ways that other people do. and she does it in such a succinct way that it's a master of it's like a master class in how do you close a poem and do it succinctly so i guess i'll get started this poem is called study the masters by lucille clifton study the masters like my aunt timmy it was her iron or one like hers that smoothed the sheets the master poet slept on. Home or hotel, what matters is he laid himself down on her handiwork and dreamed. She dreamed too. Words, some Cherokee, some Maasai, and some huge and particular as hope. If you had heard her chanting as she ironed, you would understand form and line, and discipline, and order, and America. Lucille Clifton, Study the Masters, it's in Blessing the Boats, and even if you don't get this book, I recommend her whole body of work. She was one of our treasures, and I miss her. All right, thanks guys.